Well, hey everybody, it's Kempo Jones here with another episode of the wonderful World of Baseball Cards. I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. This is a video I guess I've been wanting to do for a while, and I've been putting off. I'm not sure why, but uh, I got these cards back this summer from Anson Whaley at Pre-War Cards. Uh, he's got a great Twitter account, if any of you are on Twitter. I had reached out to him uh, about doing a private sale, and he put together kind of a little care package for me and sent me out some really fun kind of multi-sport cards uh, from the late 1800s through the 1930s, I guess. And it's super fun. And I'm not sure what all of these are. I'm going to do my best, but it's a pretty fun little assortment of cards. And uh, I thought we'd just get to it. So these first three are from a set that I really like. Um, the Murad set from 1910. And he put together these three little cards for me in this lot. Uh, here's a 1910 Murad card. Uh, from the uh, University of Kentucky. Uh, these cards are absolutely fantastic. Um, they look amazing under a loop. The print technology is amazing. These are super thin cards, um, but these are absolutely beautif beautiful. So that's a Murad baseball card from the University of Kentucky. Here's a Murad football card from Colgate University. It's a great looking card. That's from, uh, from Colgate, 1910 Murad. And then here's a 1910 Murad uh, football card for Bucknell University. Uh, this one's a little past its prime, but he said he was putting together kind of a little lot of some some kind of oddball stuff that's a little off the radar. Uh, some of this is uh, very, very interesting. So, yeah, some 1910 Murad cards kind of get things kicked off um, in this lot. Uh, some postcards here that he sent me. Um, this These are some 1910 baseball postcards. Uh, that's all he described them as in this care package. Uh, so here's one of them. Uh, gee, I guess I ought to know where to wear it. <laughs> it's kind of fun, kind of cute. And I always like to look at the back of the postcards. That's pretty cool. From Uncle Joe. So there's one. Um, and then this one is kind of a little play on words. A good play. And this is, t uh, there's the back of that postcard. So some kind of fun 1910 style postcards there. Uh, here is a postcard from 1925 Yale. 1925 Yale baseball postcard. Or Yale baseball card, I guess. Um, this is strange. Um, but very cool. Um a 1925 Yale baseball card is what he described this one as. Just 1925 Yale baseball. So that's something a little different there. Uh, here are some fun kind of Wheaties cards. These are kind of goofy. Uh, there's Skippy Hits a Homer. It's kind of fun. These are 1933 Wheaties cards. There's Skippy Hits a Homer. And Skippy Strikes Him Out. 1933 Wheaties cards. Very fun stuff. You know, I really, uh, really enjoy this kind of oddball stuff. So you can see it's kind of a multi-sport lot here. Baseball, some football. Here comes a, a, quite a bit of variety here now. This is a 1930s um, hockey card. That's super cool. Um, it's a very cool card. 
Um, I don't really know too much about this. All, the, all I know is that it's a hockey card from the 1930s. Here's a look at the back. Um, it's kind of a little hard to see. Uh, sporting events and stars, ice hockey, uh, 1930s. So that's pretty cool. Uh, here is a W542 hockey strip card. It's pretty neat. Like that glare, I'm just kind of getting a strange little collage going here. This is pretty fun. 1932 Sanella basketball card, kind of interesting there. I think we know that famous Sanella Babe Ruth card, but here's a Sanella basketball card uh, from 1932. That's a beautiful card. Uh, this is uh, 1912 Gallagher Sports. Uh, I believe this is rugby. That's super cool. It's kind of a little out of focus. But 1932 Gallagher Sports. Pretty neat. Kind of can get a look at that one. Uh, this is interesting. Uh, this he just described as an 1800s insurance agents card. So the Columbia Mutual Aid Association of Philadelphia. Um, you can see uh, 7-29-1882. So, or 1881. Yeah. So that's an insurance agent card. He thought that that was pretty interesting and kind of fun. He threw that in there. Here's something also that I think is pretty cool. This is a 1870s Ben Franklin uh, Reward of Merit card. I really like that one. It's really cool. Ben Franklin Reward of Merit. Pretty neat. Um, here's some more, uh, this is, uh, 1901 Willis Sports. Here's a couple of these. This is, these definitely, this has like definitely like an Allen and Ginter vibe to it. Um, 1901 Willis Sports, Sports of All Nations. England hunting. And then this is golf, which is pretty cool. Willis Sports of All Nations. Here's a 1930s Glen Burn Coal Company. Kind of fun. I think this is pretty classic. I think we pro everybody's probably seen this. These are pretty classic. Atlantic Coal Company. Glen Burn. It's kind of neat. I like that. I think that's really cool. Uh, this is, uh, a Willis tobacco and golf card. This is kind of interesting. So there's, or tennis, tennis and golf. Kind of fun, pretty cool. Different. Let's see, I'm kind of building a little collage here. These are super amazing. These are just 1880s, like, tennis die-cut cards. These things you almost have to see in person. They are super cool. Uh, these are amazing. 
I, I don't even know what they are. They're just like die cut cards. Here's another one. So yeah, these like 1880s die cut tennis cards. Super cool. I love those. Totally love those. Uh, and then these are just, um, these are like some runners cards. One's from Hassan and the other's from Mecca. This is uh, George Overmeyer, long distance runner. This one is the uh, Mecca cigarettes. I don't really know anything about this. I think these were freebies. Um, George Overmeyer. And then this sprinter card, this is a Hassan. Uh, this one's pretty rough, but uh, like a sprinter card. So just kind of fun, cool stuff. Um, just very, very, very different, very different stuff. Um, very neat. And then this is a postcard, 1910 Princeton. That's beautiful. Um, just beautiful. And this, that's one is not addressed to anybody. But a 1910 Princeton postcard. Beautiful artwork. They couldn't make stuff like that today if they tried. Uh, and then this stuff, I don't know what any of this is, uh, but it's all really cool. Here's like an old 1930s matchbook. There's a Chicago Cub on there. Uh, Tex Carlton. <laughs> Don't know what that is. If you know what that is, feel free to share. I'm all ears. This is like a game card. High fly to right. It's kind of neat. Another game card. It's kind of got a cool back too. Check the back out, I like it. It's pretty neat. I love this. This is a fencing card. Check that out. It's pretty cool, right? I'm guessing that's from like the 30s. Like a 1930s fencing card. <laughs> and then this basketball postcard it's pretty cool right I like that to uh, Mr. Milton Gill in Topeka Kansas and that was what's the postmark on that October 1st Milton Gill super cool so uh yeah that's that's kind of my uh my little thing my uh kind of pre-war lot that i picked up this summer i thought you guys would kind of enjoy that i'm not an expert in this stuff by any means as you can obviously tell uh, but i do love it and like i said i had just asked him to kind of put together a little lot for me and he sent it this summer and i got a i feel like a really nice price on it and According to him, a lot of this is some pretty oddball and tough to find stuff. So it's Kembo Jones, Wonderful World of Baseball Cards. And I hope everybody's having a good holiday season. Later. Keep collecting.